Zero points. It matters, but it doesn't matter really. This was James Newman's ironic celebration for his null point this year. The fourth time the UK has come last. We haven't come first since Katrina and the Waves in 1997, so here is the latest cunning plan. No, it's not going to be Dua Lipa, but her management company, TAP, is going to be in charge. They also represent Lana Del Rey and Ellie Goulding, so they know a thing or two. Ah, oh, Bucks Fizz, the only British winners of Eurovision in the 1980s. They had to win a contest for the right to represent the UK. I was trying to make my mind up about the new selection policy when I realised Jay would have the answer. And what do you think about this uh, new plan? I think whatever they've been doing in the past obviously hasn't been working, and so it's great that they've changed it up. And obviously that management team, like we had a management team kind of behind us back in the day, they, they obviously know what they're doing. They've got a track record, they've got huge success. You know, I really wish them all the luck um, with it, yeah. Remember Gemini, the first British null pointers in 2003? It was widely seen as a backlash against the Iraq war. We haven't made the top 10 since 2009. And then there's Brexit. Makes you wonder if the UK can ever win again. What we need is a super fan. Ah, just the man. Despite Brexit and despite block voting, I still believe that with the right song, uh, we can we can produce a winning song again and, and we can see ourselves right at the top of that that leaderboard at the end of the night come next may Maniskin were eurovision winners this year for italy this is what wins in europe can the uk give it to them and will it make any difference tune in in may to find out simon viger five news